Columba, welcome to the Opulent Explorer vodcast with Ama Waterways. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Stuart. Great to be here. My clients that are my age, 43, everybody has this misnomer about cruising in general, which we've talked about a lot over time. But what they really don't understand is that they think river cruises are for grandma and grandpa and it's stuffy, it's, you know, whatever. And their knee jerk reaction is, Let's pick XYZ Hotel, cruise Paris or wherever we're going to go, and that's the way we do it. I know your product, and I know River Cruising better than a lot of my clients, but I want them to hear from you how it really works, how it's a floating hotel on the river. The cities are built around rivers. You're going to see more. Tell us in your own words. I want them to understand why this is such a great family option, and it's not just for retirees. Absolutely. And that was my, you know, misconception as well before I came here. I came from the big ship, Stuart. I worked for Royal Caribbean for 10 years before joining Ama Waterways. And I really thought, you know, what am I getting myself into until I went on my very first river cruise? And, you know, things have changed and evolved over the years. Um, there are a lot of different river cruise companies out there. We're all competing with each other. And just like with big ships, there are differences among the different river cruise companies. So I'd like to highlight what makes Ama different is the way we cater to our clients and their needs. And we have a different type of clientele because we have triples, quads, connecting staterooms on our ships. You know, I don't know if you're aware of this, but we built a partnership with Disney. Adventures by Disney actually charters our ships. I think they have like 20 departures a year where they cater just to families which, you know, was an amazing proposition for us because it really lends credibility to Ama Waterways. But <clears throat> that partnership, we started building ships differently. So if you've got kids and they want to do something different, they want to, they want to see the real castles, the real palaces, the real history, you know, rather than going to a hotel in Paris and then driving and trying to find things and getting your local guides and doing this all like kind of a la carte, you come on an Amal Waterways cruise where we give you the opportunity to board the ship in a major city like Paris, like Budapest, you know, uh, like Wilshof in Germany, and you're going to go along the rivers of Europe and see big capitals as well as little towns and villages and get off and explore. We take all that heavy lifting from you and having to plan all that gives you much more time in the ports. There are many itineraries where we do overnights in the ports of call. You want to get off in the evening, do something different. You know, why stress yourself out? You get on a river cruise, you unpack once, and you just enjoy the idyllic, beautiful views along the rivers. So we're getting more and more multi-generational families joining us. Just by, you know, a big part of that was the Disney. It's Absolutely. basically built for them, and now you get the multi-gen. That's great because a lot of the older ships, um, your competitors, uh, both on the river and on the sea, mm -hmm. don't generally have a lot of those interconnecting rooms, and that's a frustration for our multi-gen prospects. Absolutely. And for big ship cruisers going to Europe, so many, you know, you go like I ask uh, the public when I do a presentation, I say, so how many of you have been on a big ship and you went to Rome? They raise their hand. I'm like, yeah, not really. You're in Civita Vecchia, which yeah. is hours away from Rome, you know, and you're on a motor coach and you're and you're going to have time to go see a church, the big one, have lunch, uh, maybe go to a gift shop and then have to schlep back to the ship. You know, where we're, with us, if you're doing a Rhine cruise, you're in Amsterdam overnight. You're going, to die, you're going to arrive on that flight early in the morning. I mean, you could book a prepackage, obviously. You're going to arrive early in the morning. You could drop off your luggage, go take a tour of the city, take a bike tour, go walking, go have a cup of coffee, go have lunch, come back to the ship. You know, enjoy the ship that evening, go back out again. You're in close proximity, so you're not wasting a lot of time. That's really the main thing. And, you know, again, coming from the big ships, I say when you're going to – Paris, when you're going to Amsterdam, when you're going to Budapest, do you really need a ship with rock climbing walls and ice skating? No, it's about the destination. And there's so much history, uh, a lot of, you know, multi-generational families that have a heritage in this part of the, these parts of the world, they want to share that. And now that we've had this lockdown, there's more and more of a desire for people to want to get together and travel. So we're ready for that.